tape. Come here, step in my office and watch the tape. He scores! Mike Rupp has three goals in the hopper, his first career hat trick. I gotta watch the tape. Let's dive into the tape. Mike Rupp with a yogurt like salute. Roll the tape. Rupp with a shot. He scores! You saw him do it in New Jersey. Now he's done it here in the Winter Classic. Two goals for Mike Rupp. This guy needs to watch the tape. Look at him go. Tape the tape. Let's diggity dive right into the tape. All right, first tape room of the year, first game of the year for the new franchise in Utah. Utah Hockey Club, baby. Utah Hockey Club. Um, and I wanted to focus on, on one player in particular. And it's one player that really hasn't had a full season in the NHL yet, but he had a monster second half of last year. Yeah. And that's Dylan Gunther. Yep. And what he has as far as a shot. And, and here's something for you, because Connor Bedard, uh, paraphrasing here, Connor Bedard was uh, on, on Chicklets talking to Paul Bissonette, said something I, in the regards to like, this kid's got one of the best shots. Con coming from Connor Bedard, one of the yeah, best shots right. in the league. He's going to be a 40 goal guy. And I'm think sitting there thinking to myself, that's a, that's a pretty lofty expectations to put on him. And I started looking, he had nine goals, nine power play goals of his 18 goals last year in 45 games. So that's a 33 goal pace that he's on, and half of them were on the power play. So yes. I figured. Let's take a look at them on the power play, and then we'll look at their power play units at the end of this. And here's the thing I just want to point out here, and we're just going to run them through. That's his spot right there at the top of the – he's in the left circle, and he's got a shot. I yeah. mean, he just simply has a shot, and we're going to watch a couple, and he, he's just going to be set up over there. Pause it right here. He's got this a lot, too, and I, I like seeing this. I don't know what you think. I didn't, when, I didn't love when – I didn't love the beaver <laughs> tail when guys are like – Calling for it. Calling for it. I'm open. But that – for a shooter – He's uh, give it to me. I want it. Yeah, I'm always open. Yeah. That's a good thing, right? Uh, even if he's not always open, tell him, hey, find me. You know where I'm at. That yep. side of the ice, roll forward. And Dylan Gunther is just ready to fire this thing. This one comes from Jersey up top. And here's this other one. It's he can move around in, in there. Here's the other thing. It doesn't have to be the big tee up. He's in the middle of the ice here. It doesn't need much room. Pause it right here. Look at that. He doesn't need much room. Like he's got this little window in here. I think this is Kerfoot who slides it in. And he, he doesn't need much time. That puck doesn't need to be caressed on the stick. It's off in a hurry. Bang, back the net. We'll roll it forward. And then when we go back to that left circle, I think good power plays have staples. And Absolutely. the staple on this power play, pause it here, is I will always be over here. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I In our clean sets where we're looking at the whites of the eyes of the penalty kill, I'm going to be on that side of the ice. And you know you have an out, and you could just throw it over there. Roll this thing forward. This puck's going to go. Right away. I mean, bring this back a little bit if you don't mind. Watch Schmaltz grab this puck. Keep going, keep going. Right here. Pause it. So we're going to get Clayton Keller's going to grab it. And you're going to have Nick Schmoltz come across. Roll it forward. And watch this blind play. Pause it right there. Stop it and just throws it. He doesn't even have to look. Just throw it right there because he knows Dylan Gunther's there and he's got an elite shot. And then we'll roll it forward. Bang. Another goal from that spot of the ice. Here's the one thing that kind of got me. And this is what we'll roll into you as a goaltender. I want to know what you think here. This one, I, he grabs it, shoots, and I'm thinking to myself, like, bad goal. I don't know, is that a bad goal? Yeah. Like, it looked a little leaky, but then I started watching him. Um, all of them go in like this. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, he doesn't look like he's given much. Like, he's looking right at the goalies for the most part, and, and the puck's going in. I just find that he's just got that release that just, right here, same thing. Like, yeah. it doesn't look like much. I mean, he picks that corner. That looks like a great shot on that yeah. one. And we'll go to the last one. This is from the goalie standpoint. This is what makes him really unique. You're going to watch him from this side. We've seen that play a bunch of times, right? Yeah. These, this is eight of his nine power play goals. Pause it right here. He's going to get this puck. Roll forward a little bit more. Right here. Pause it there. Not too often you get eyeball to eyeball. Mono e mano, no screen, no deflections, no nothing. Not many players can beat a goalie one on one yeah. like that. We've watched him do this number of times. He's right. not one time shot schneids. Like, right. We're trying like to that's out, impressive. We're trying to figure if it's sustainable or not. Nine on 45 games. Like, is that doable? Is it luck? Is it bad goaltending? But to your point, he's catching and releasing some of these. He's not just one timing them. And the thing I'm seeing, you get OV, you get Stammer. Their hand down the bottom, they're teeing up to here, they're hammering, they're just blowing it by you. They're, they violent, they're violently shooting. Exactly. He's not, right? What I'm noticing about him is he has his hands up high here. And as a goalie, when guys have their hands up here, it's a harder read. You don't know exactly when or how they're going to shoot it. And it seems like he's got a whippy kick point to his stick. So he's, he's putting his leverage more up here. Even the one timer, he's kind of here, and he lets the stick whip and just flick him through, and it gets up in a hurry. And I think as a goalie, when guys are here, their hands down, you know they're going to rip it, they're leaning into it, you're getting set, you're ready. This kid's got it up here, and you're like, is he going to pass it? Is he going to dish it? Is he going to shoot it? And then all of a sudden, he just 
leans on it a bit and just just straight up under the bar and he's hitting his spots he's hitting these tight windows too they're not like they're wide open nets they roll this forward so i think he's got that that a great release Oof. and incredible accuracy so i think that's given him the ability to beat goalies cleanly which is really hard to do yeah he's got that hitch back there but yeah. it, that's the one thing when i'm watching him too and and i was going through and again just to be repetitive i went back to watch that one i'm like yeah don't love that goal. Right. Don't put it on the goalie here. Yeah, exactly. But then when I keep seeing it happen, it's not, oh, that's a bad goal. It's He's a good shooter. Yes. And I just, the, all those little de deception pieces, yep. I think makes him very effective there. On yeah, the and when your goalie can't pick up the release cleaning, that's when pucks squeeze through you because you're holding out, you're guessing, you're trying to hold your, and all of a sudden, oh, it's on me, it's in me. You know, it's by me, so you can't you can't close down on it. So I think that's given goalies problems with his uh, his release. Yeah, and here's the thing: when let's take a look at their two power play units, because I'll say this, and you can say this is a hot take or whatever you want to call it, but they have, I think, as a group of ten, power play one, power play two. Here's power play one. They've got the deepest ten I've seen in the NHL. Like, does that mean that they'll have the best power play? No, but I think they're a top ten. Maybe even a top five power play. Now you talk about this team, what they did last year. Mm -hmm. You add a very dominant power play. Roll the second unit, if you don't mind. Um, they, this team should be able to make the playoffs tonight. Yeah. And, and, and look, like, you've got some pieces here. Uh, Matias Michelli, Michelli is he's a, he's dynamic with that puck. Yeah. He's a power play specialist. Sean Dursey, Logan Cooley. Like the fact that you can have Logan Cooley on your second unit, dispersing the puck. You know, Lawson Kraus. I mean, this is a deep yeah. two-man group. I agree with you, and I think they're going to be a big part of their success this year because the Pacific is pretty wide open in my my view. Other than Edmonton, maybe the top, so they can make some noise, feeding off that energy of being in Utah. And like I said, if their power plays top five in the league, yeah. I think uh, they got some exciting young pieces. And the point about Gunther being over there, he's he makes the PK respect him, so it opens up every other option for every other player. So yeah. when they know he's there, and they got to take him away. It just opens up everything else for the rest of the group. Else.